everyone welcome back to the house station a place for all how to's and DIYs in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a themed hanging photo frame now if you're wondering what exactly is a themed hanging photo frame it is this thing right here it's got a theme mine is a flower themed you can do any theme of your liking you can either go flowers animals your favorite movie your favorite cartoon character or your favorite series gothic themed animal themed nature inspired theme anything that you like it's a photo frame actually two photo frames and it's hanging so it's a themed hanging photo frame now i had recently been to a gift shop and i saw this kind of a thing in the gift shop and when i asked for the price it was way too pricey so I thought, why buy it if I can DIY it? So I DIY'd my themed hanging photo frame. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own themed hanging photo frame. So if you want to see how I made this, then please keep watching the video. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button so that we can grow as a family and get creative together every week on Sundays. And once you're done with it, let's begin with the video. So first I'm going to make the frame because that takes time. So to make the frame I have two pieces of cardboard that measure 7.5 inches into 6 inches. Now I'll keep one piece aside and on the other piece I'll draw a rectangle that measures 6 inches into 4 inches. Basically the size of my photograph. And then I'll cut it out. So here's my frame. Now you see the edges here are not very clean. So let's clean them up. So for that I'll take a piece of paper and cut it a little bigger than my frame and the inside will be smaller. I'll then cut it out. I then place my frame and mark all the corners. Then from the edge, I'll make a cut till the corner mark, both from in and out. Then I'll again place my frame in the same position and apply glue on the outer edges and spread it evenly with a brush and fold it in to stick it. Then I'll repeat the same step with the inner edge and do the same with the remaining three sides. I'll cut out the excess corners and look what we have here, clean edges. Next I'm going to apply protective layer, anything will work, OHP sheet, clear plastic, anything. I'll apply it on the back of my frame with glue and then I'll let it dry. While the glue was drying, I cut three pieces to fit here, here and here. I'll now stick them. These three pieces will create a barrier between the front and the back part making it easy to slide the photograph in. These will go only on three sides as the fourth side will be that from where I'm going to slide in my photograph. Then I'll apply glue on the three pieces and stick the back of the frame. And oh my god what we have here, the details, it's so funny. I didn't notice it but never mind we're gonna have a photograph in here so these details won't show up. Now you remember the clean edges right so I'm going to stick a piece of paper on the front then turn the frame and bring it to the back. 
and that's going to give us clean edges now remember to do this only on three sides not on the fourth side from where we're going to slide in the photograph once everything is done i'll paint my frame now mine is a flower themed so i'll paint it pink Now my first frame is ready and I'll make one more exactly like this. After my two frames are ready, I'll work on the top. So using the frame as a guideline, I'll mark points and then using a plate, I'll draw a semicircle and cut it out. For cleaning up the edges, I'm using pieces of tissue paper and glue. After it dries, I'll paint it white and then draw flowers using my how to draw a perfect flower technique. You want to see that video, you can click on the little eye in the corner or the link in the description box. So I have my two frames ready, the top ready and the bottom for which on a rectangular piece of 7.5 inches into 2 inches I wrote the words friends forever. Now the width of each piece measures the same that is 7.5 inches. So using one piece I'll measure as to where to make holes for the jump rings. Then using a safety pin I'll make holes in each piece. Now I have a chain. I see as to how much chain will be required for hanging the frame and then cut that much out. And then cut the remaining chain into 6 equal pieces. I'll then add jump rings to each piece and after adding jump rings I'll attach the pieces with each other using the chains. When they are all together, I'll slide in my photographs and hang it up. And that's it. Well, how did you all like the themed hanging photo frame? I know that's a huge name and the frame is also quite big but it's going to just pep up the beauty of your room instantly and mine had photographs with my friends so I had friends forever written on it and a flower theme because I love flowers. You can do it according to your taste, according to your liking and according to what photographs are you're going to put in there and make sure that you make it because it's so lovely, it's so beautiful and it's easy to make. So please do try it out and do tell me in the comments down below on how you thought the video was if there are any other ideas, suggestions that you would want me to make or recreate. Do let me know them as well in the comments down below and make sure to give the video a big big thumbs up if you all enjoyed watching it and make sure to hit the subscribe button because I make easy and inexpensive video ideas on every Sunday. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!